my name is Emma, and today I am talking about Shadowhunters. For those of you who don't know, Shadowhunters is the new TV adaptation of the Mortal Instruments series that's coming very soon on ABC Family, which is going to be freeform by the pilot, I believe. I've already made a video talking about most of the cast, talking about the behind the scenes photos that they've released, and a reaction to one of the first trailers that they released. So if you want to watch those videos, I'm going to link my entire TMI video related playlist below, and there are some of the most recent videos there. But with the pilot coming so soon on Tuesday, January 12th at 9pm, I decided that I wanted to make another video expressing my hopes and my fears for this TV show. Clearly this is my favorite series in the entire world, and we've already had one adaptation that, while I personally really liked it, a lot of people didn't, and it kind of flopped. So we're giving it a second chance, which I'm super excited about. But I'm also super nervous that it's going to get screwed up again. But there's already so much information on this TV series already with all of the articles I've read and videos I've watched and photos I've seen. They either make me feel very hopeful that this TV show is going to be successful or very fearful that it's going to suck. So I want to talk about my hopes for this TV show first. Number one, I'm clearly hopeful that it's going to be successful. I'm really, really hopeful that this series is going to make it all the way through to City of Heavenly Fire. If I remember correctly, one of the cast members was talking about how they really wanted it to go all the way to City of Heavenly Fire, and I believe there's been some information out already on Season 2. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this is real information, but I definitely remembered hearing something that either a cast member or one of the producers, someone said something about a Season 2. So the fact that they're possibly already planning a Season 2 makes me really hopeful. There's one thing about the success of this TV show that makes me very hopeful and it makes me very fearful, and that is the marketing that they're doing on social media. Now in all of my 19 years of life, whether it was a TV show or a movie, whether or not it was a book to movie adaptation, I have never seen something market this much of itself on social media. Now this also has to do with the growth of social media, but I have never seen any production post so many pictures and videos and tweets about what's going on. I think this can be really great because it's getting the community really, really involved and even people who haven't read the series are knowing that Shadowhunters is coming, but I'm also really nervous that it could make this entire TV series flop because they're posting so much about it. For example, I am doing my best not to watch any actual scenes or actual footage that's from the TV series. I'm trying to just watch trailers and promos because I feel like if I see too much of this series it's really gonna ruin it for me once it actually comes. If I see every costume and every cast member and every scene is the pilot gonna be special? Is the series gonna be special? Probably not had I not seen all of that. And I also think by them posting so much it might actually set some expectations that might not fall through when the show actually comes to be. I'm very iffy about all of the marketing that they're doing. I think it can be great, but I think it can also be very detrimental to this series. So I'm not sure how I actually feel about that yet, but of course I'm very hopeful that it's going to be successful. Another thing I'm really hopeful for is the chemistry between the characters. Because we see so much of them on social media, which attributes to the fact that I think it can be hopeful, is that it seems that these cast members are getting along really well. We've seen so many photos of them playing games together, going out to dinner together, fooling around on set, that makes me really happy because if we have a cast that's not dynamic in real life, they're not going to be dynamic on screen. I love seeing them interact and take all these selfies and like bond together. It makes me so happy, so I'm really, really hopeful that's going to show up well on screen. Something that also makes me very hopeful is the pictures of these sets I've seen. For example, I think Clary and Jocelyn's apartment looks perfect. So things like Clary's apartment and the Institute and Pandemonium, those all look great in these photos. Now the contrast to this is when I saw the first promo, they showed some of these scenes and the sets kind of look cheesy when it's actually being filmed. So again, I'm not sure if this makes me totally hopeful or this makes me fearful. And from what I've seen, in my opinion, the show isn't filmed all that well. I feel like these sets really represent the Mortal Instruments very well. The costumes is also something that makes me very hopeful. I think the Shadowhunter gear looks phenomenal. I love the way that the leather looks. Isabel's clothes are so Isabel, it's ridiculous. I think the Shadowhunter gear is one of the best things about this show so far. On the other hand, I think Clary is in Shadowhunter gear way too much. I understand that in the book City of Bones, Clary doesn't have a lot of clothes, but she does go back to Luke's apartment to get more of her clothes. And the fact that in almost every scene I've seen photos or videos from, she's in Shadowhunter gear makes me a little apprehensive because that doesn't make sense with the book whatsoever. I think the clothes on everyone else look perfect, but I think they're putting way too much pressure on Clary becoming a shadow hunter in just the first season. Now, while I feel like I included some fears about the things that made me hopeful when I was talking about the things that made me hopeful, I want to talk about the fears, which 
a lot more. <laughs> I'm very fearful for the CGI in this TV show. I don't know exactly how much the budgets for CGI in TV shows versus movie goes, but I'm kind of assuming TV shows get less of a budget for special effects. I'm very fearful for the demons, I'm very fearful for the portal, I'm very fearful for the glamorous peeling away. In the first trailer that they released, there is a demon that looks kind of realistic, but like I said in that video where I was talking about the photos, looks like a person in a demon suit and not a demon and I don't like that. I'm really afraid of it looking cheesy. Like I'm really terrified that this entire series is going to look really cheesy because of just the budget of it. I personally feel that like the Mortal Instruments needed a whole movie series and clearly they screwed that up but I feel like it deserved the budget and the production put into making a movie series rather than a TV series. I'm very nervous about the accuracy about this. I think you guys have heard me talk about this so much. They're introducing new characters, for example Midori, who I don't even know what she does. But, um, why do we need new characters? Why does that make any sense of the story? I don't know. They're introducing characters early, like Meliorn and Camille. Camille doesn't come into play until like book four, so I don't understand why she's in City of Bones. Meliorn I'm kind of okay with because I know he's not going to play a big role, but you know, the whole point of Meliorn being introduced as Isabel's boyfriend was in City of Ashes when we learn more about the fairies. We don't really learn about the fairies in City of Bones. I'm afraid that they're going to lose the world building, which is something I commend Cassandra Clare for because this is a beautiful world that she's built. I'm so nervous that they're going to focus so much on the plot and the characters that they're going to lose the world building, which is the basis of this series. I'm very nervous nervous about these different plot lines that I'm hearing about. For example, Luke is a cop or a detective in the TV show and he's a bookseller in the books. Somewhere I read the first eight synopsis of the season and by episode three they're totally different and that's just really upsetting to me. I don't think they need to change these massive plot points. I think that while there obviously have to be changes when you're making a TV adaptation, I don't think they need to change all of City of Bones. This is something that I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying. I do not want them to include the Infernal Devices into this TV series. As soon as the title was released and it wasn't the Mortal Instruments, it was Shadowhunters, the fandom went crazy because they thought that they were going to implement the Infernal Devices into this adaptation. I am a firm believer that the Mortal Instruments deserves its own TV show, its own movie series, whatever it wants to be, and I'm a firm believer that the Infernal Devices deserves the same exact thing just separately and that they should come together when they're supposed to come together. I am so nervous that they're going to include flashbacks at the wrong time, they're going to include characters when they're not supposed to be there. This is all just speculation for me, but those books weren't published before book three, so these characters should not be in this story before book three. I am just so nervous that one is going to overtake the other, and I think that these series are both so amazing that they deserve the same amount of attention separately. I know a lot of people are like, no, like, put them all in together, like, I just want all these characters to be all together all the time. But that's not how it was written in the book, so I don't want that in the TV show. You know, I think it would be cool if they got to City of Heavenly Fire, and then the Mortal Instruments ended, and then they started the Infernal Devices, I'd be totally cool with that. Imagine if they made it like all the Shadowhunter Chronicles all in one TV show named Shadowhunters, that would be epic. But I just think that these two things should stay separately in my mind. And the last thing that I'm really nervous about could be if it was going to be a movie series or a TV series, and that's the timeline of these books. Now I can't remember exactly how long these six book series takes place, and so I'm very nervous to see how they're going to make these main characters who are only supposed to age about a year in the books, and it'll probably take them well over a couple of years to make all six seasons. They already bumped up the ages, which I don't have a problem with. It's not that important to me. Like, Kat McNamara is like 19 now, I think. Imagine how old she's going to be when she's in City of Heavenly Fire, and if it was supposed to be the same time length of the books, she would only be about 20. I'm just really concerned with the actors getting too old and not looking like 18-year-olds when they're in their mid to late 20s. I mean, that's just movies and TV adaptations in general, but I think that because The Mortal Instruments is crammed into such a short period of time over these many, many books, I'm just afraid to see how it's going to be adopted on screen. So those are all of my hopes and fears for the Shadowhunters TV show. I can't say that it's going to suck and I can't say that it's going to be amazing because I want to actually just watch the TV show all the way through and then create an opinion on it. I am very, 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 very hopeful that it's going to be successful. I really, really hope that it can be a great adaptation even with all these changes, but I'm very, very nervous. <laughs> Let me know in the comments some of your hopes and fears for the TV show, if you agree with anything I said, if you disagree, or if you have a completely different opinion from me, I'd love to know. But that is it for this video, and I will see you soon for a new one. Bye!